What's good YouTube, it's your boy J Daniel, and today we'll be going over how I created this baggy sweater and marvelous designer, textured in substance and rendered in Blender 3D. But today we'll be only focusing on marvelous designer. This sweater is part of a streetwear outfit collection that I made with pants, ski mask, the vest, and everything, which I'll be breaking down in other videos. So with all that being said, let's go ahead and hop into the video. All right, with Marvelous Designer open, first thing we wanna do is drag and drop our base pattern on our avatar. Just go click garment and double click and drag and drop it, the t-shirt pattern on our avatar. Now, once we have the base, what we wanna do is while using the edit pattern tool, which is X, you wanna take the line of the sleeve and extend it all the way down to our wrist. And sometimes it's better to bring it down, simulate, bring it down, simulate it again. Otherwise, if you just bring it all the way down and simulate it, you might have a hard time fitting it back on your avatar, as you can see. Now, with that being said, let's go ahead and adjust the collar of our sweater. If you take a look at our reference image, which I actually sketched, you can see that the collar is a little dip. So we gotta bring those points down using the edit point tool. So go ahead and bring it down. Now we wanna use C tool, which is the curve tool and curve the collar in a little bit. There you go, just checking it. Sleeves, you wanna extend it down just a little bit more and to get that bagginess. And go ahead and play around with it. Make sure that the length is good. And then we're gonna add a slit for the sleeves, but we'll get back to that. So moving on to the back piece, in order to get that really baggy feel, we wanna extend the back piece a little outward, as you can see. So just go ahead and select those lines and pull it out a little further. And the more we go outwards with it, the more baggy it looks. All right, now going back to this pattern sleeve, go ahead and hit cut and sew. Sometimes you'll get an error like this. That just means you have to double click it and hit extend to pattern outline. Then you will not get an error once you hit cut and sew. So this will be the cuffs and we wanna make the cuffs a little bit smaller because if you look at our arm, our wrist is smaller than our entire arm. So that's why the cuffs are smaller than the actual piece. And you can see now the sleeves are looking bunched up like in our reference image. There you go, just making sure it drapes pretty good and everything, everything looking solid. Now you can see that our cuffs is a little bit too big cause it's slipping down the armhole. Now it's looking 10 times better once we made that cuff a little bit smaller. Now, once you're doing this, it's always good to make sure that it drapes properly over your avatar. Now, once you got that set, let's go ahead and adjust the collar just a little bit more. I'm gonna bring the sides a little bit in. If you look in our reference image, you can see that it curves in, then it curves out. Now that's very easy. Go ahead and use the C tool and curve it in just a little bit. Now, once you got that, go ahead and do a little turnaround, make sure everything is solid. All right, so with that done, let's go ahead and move on to the hem of the sweater. What you wanna do is right click and hit offset as pattern outline and make sure create internal line is set and you wanna give it to extend it to about 50. There you go, then hit cut and sew. Now, the same thing we did with the arm, with the arm sleeves, we have to make the cuffs a little bit smaller so that we get that baggy effect. So let's go ahead and resize the hem of the sweater. Go ahead. There we go. Now you can see we have a problem. The problem is that they're not sewn to each other. So go ahead and space it out and then sew it using in, which is segment sewing. You're gonna go ahead and sew the end pieces back together. There we go, just sewing them all together front to back and now you should have something that is connected. There you go, and I actually want this to be a little bit baggier so we're gonna extend this point using the point select. So not only are we increasing the size vertically but we're also increasing the length horizontally. And there you go, just dressing it up, making sure that the hem is actually on the hips versus sagging down below. It's looking pretty close to the reference image. Now just with a final couple of tweaks that we're gonna do. With the main sweater silhouette looking complete, let's go ahead and move on to the details of the arm sleeves. Now with the arm sleeves, we're gonna go ahead and use the internal polygon line and make a triangle. Now you wanna adjust this triangle because we're gonna be making this into a bell shaped curve. 
Now just go ahead and bring the points down. Now once you got that, we're gonna use the curve point tool and go ahead and curve it up and also select the top point and transform it into a curve point. Which we'll is right click and convert to curve point. There we go. Now we wanna edit this cause it's looking a little funky. Now go ahead with V and extend the points out until you get that bell shaped curve. There you go, it's getting there nice and slow. With the shape complete, now we're gonna go ahead and select it, we'll right click it and hit offset as internal line and we want to do about 10. So go ahead and adjust it and hit okay. Now once you adjust it, now we can go ahead and trace the pattern because what we're going to do with the trace pattern is to sew the top piece on the actual sleeve. Now go ahead and add some material so that you can differentiate what piece is what when this is sewn on. So once we got the materials all set, let's go ahead and sew using the segment sewing tool. Let's go ahead and actually switch out this fabric material so that we get something that's heavier and go ahead and bring the particle distance of your attachment to the sleeve down to about 10 or five. This will help it better simulate. There we go. And as you see, we have some issues, but that's because the top piece is not sewn. So let's go ahead and re-sew that piece once again. So taking the segment tool and sewing it back. There we go. Now everything is looking right. Now, once you got that bottom piece sewn, go ahead and take a look how it sits on the sleeve. And make sure there's no bugs, there's nothing jumping out, and everything is set correctly. So go ahead and mess with the materials until you find something that you like. And some tips that you can use to get a better drape is to put the particle distance up. You can see the particle distance on this part is not as high, but once I put it to 5, this is the final result that you get. Thank you so much for tuning in to this video. If you like this video, go ahead and comment section below and comment down what you liked and what you learned in this video and also what you would like to learn in the next video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. All right, you guys have a blessed year.